Hi, in this segment, we're going to learn how to take the second derivative using implicit differentiation. Um, so just with any derivative, the first step with the second derivative is taking the first derivative. Um, we're going to start with a relatively easy example, and then we'll step it up a little bit for a more interesting example. Um, we're going to do y squared, x squared, plus 2x. Um, so I'm going to use both the dy dx notation and the y prime notation. And uh, I'm going to use the dy dx notation for the first derivative because I think it's easier. And then as we move to the second derivative, I'm going to use the y prime notation because I think it's easier to use y prime for the second derivative. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the derivative of y squared, 2y dy. The derivative of x squared, 2x dx. The derivative of 2x is 2 dx. We're fortunate that the dy's are already on the left, dx is on the right. Factor out the dx. Let's go ahead and factor out the dy like that. Uh, divide by dx. Divide by 2y. Cross out, cross out. So my first derivative is going to be 2x plus 2, or 2y, which is just x plus 1 over y. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just call this y prime to kind of foreshadow for taking the second derivative. <clears throat> okay, so now we've got y prime equals x plus 1 over y. Uh, I'm going to take the derivative of that. I'll copy it down here. y prime equals x plus 1 over y. Um, the first derivative of y prime is y double prime, so that is what we want. Over here, this is a quotient rule. So I'm going to come to the side and identify my x, my f and g. So f is x plus 1. g is y. There we go. Um, f prime is 1 dx. g prime is dy. So as I put my quotient rule together, we're going to have f prime times g plus g prime times f. So that's going to just look like this. Uh, y dx but, uh, minus g prime uh, y over g squared. Remember, I'm using the y prime notation. I've used the dx and dy, so I want to just kind of convert that to the y prime as if you were to uh, divide the top and bottom here by dx, you could say here y double prime is y minus x plus 1 y prime over y squared. So that's my second derivative. Um, I'm going to put a box around it for now. We're not done, but um, I'm going to just comment. This second derivative is in terms of x, also in terms of y, and in terms of y prime. So um, you know, not only is the implicit derivative uh, typically a function of x and y, this one's also a function of y prime. You can fix that by saying, you know, remember when y prime was x plus 1 over y, we're going to take this and substitute it right there for y prime. So my second derivative will finally be y double prime equals y minus x plus 1 times x plus 1 over y over y squared. And uh, that's correct. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Um, we'll have y minus x plus 1 squared over y over y squared. And uh, uh, knowing AP in a multiple choice answer might just multiply everything by y. This is correct right here. Don't think it's not. But uh, you might see something where you get y squared minus x plus 1 squared over y cubed. So that's where they just multiply the top and bottom by y over y or just y over y. 
So that is the second derivative. Um, we're going to do another example. So I'll take this sheet off. And we will use uh, 2x cubed plus uh, minus 3y squared equals 8. Sorry, there we go. Um, so first derivative uh, is 6x squared minus 6y y prime equals 8. Notice I'm just, you know, I'm going for y prime notation right off the bat, you know, just try something different. I want you to be comfortable with both. Um, as you become more comfortable with implicit differentiation, the y prime probably feels more and more comfortable. But uh, anyway, we're going to take away 6x squared minus 6y times y prime equals, no, no, that was a 0. Sorry, kids, the derivative of 8 was 0. That was my mistake. So uh, we get something like that. The take away 6x squared is 0 minus 6x squared is minus 6x squared. Divide by minus 6y. And we get y prime equals x squared over y. Now time for y uh, double prime. Uh, the derivative of y prime is y double prime. That's easy enough. Uh, we've got a, a, a quotient rule going on. Uh, uh, otherwise, so I'm just going to write over here on the side, f is x squared, g is y, f prime is 2x, g prime is y prime. So as we put the pieces together here, we're going to have uh, f prime times g, 2xy minus g prime times f, x squared times y prime, all over g squared. So that is a correct second derivative. However, it's in terms of x and y and y prime. So I'm going to go back and substitute uh, y prime. And we'll have y double prime equals 2xy minus x squared. And then for y prime, we'll have x squared over y. And uh, I'll just maybe Clean that up one more time. 2xy minus x to the fourth over y over y squared. And you could multiply by y over y again. I'm, I think I'm not going to here. Um, but that's that's how it works. Uh, just do a first derivative using implicit differentiation. Identify y prime. Just set it to the side. Uh, take the second derivative. Use, a in this case, a quotient rule. And... Uh, then whenever you have a function at x and y and y prime, you go back and substitute this where y prime uh, used to be.